What's up guys, in this video we are going to be looking at displaced posters and if they are still worth buying in 2024, an honest long term review on the posters with a few different variations and examples from matte, glossy, we've got borders, we've got large, I've even had XL posters, so let's talk about these posters if they're actually worth buying. Let's start off with matte versus glossy. So as you can see by my studio, got a few others behind me and they're all matte posters. The reason why I always go with matte posters now is because the gloss finish is just annoying for like reflections, right? So as you can see by the light, you know, you can see that. And obviously for my studio, I just want matte finish for like all my posters plus like sunlight and all that. It's just going to get annoying. So I actually prefer the matte finish, even though the glossy finish is nice and everything like that, it's actually good for me to get the matte finish. That's why I prefer it. So I've really enjoyed the matte finishes. They're the cheapest as well. So it's the best value for me as well. So that's an honest long-term perspective on these posters. The ones on the walls, they've been here for ages. So they've barely fallen off. And I live in Sydney, Australia, which means that it gets hot and they've survived not falling off the wall for that long. Some have fallen off the wall, but overall, like, it's been pretty good. But, for example, like, there's some scratch marks at the bottom there, some wear and tear from it falling at the bottom, but that's an example of just, like, something that has fallen by accident. Apart from that, like, I really like the feel of the matte finish. I just feel like most people will be happy with the matte finish overall. In terms of postage, they always come in two weeks. They've always posted in really good times. I like the eco-friendly packaging. You can even get the replacement pads really easily. It comes in like two weeks as well. They're super good. They're super easy to mount as well. I've always found the mounting to be really fun, really easy, really interactive, and you can find your own place to put it on your wall. It's always been really fun. So yeah, this is one of my favorite designs. I actually put outside my door. So it says, do not disturb gamer at home. So I love some of these designs. Like you can get anything from like Spider-Man, Marvel stuff to like stuff like this, but it's very niche. The designers, they all design their own work and all that stuff. So it's a really good brand to support artists and creators, not only small artists, but large, bigger artists as well and to find stuff that you really like on that website. There's a whole range of stuff that you can find. So it's really good, really popular designs, and you're supporting creators and doing something for good for the world because every time you buy one, you plant a tree as well. Let's talk about the borders. So this is an example of a border that I bought for a video that I did like two years ago where I sort of compared matte versus glossy versus border sort of finish. So the border's good. like. It's got good quality, it's a bit scratchy. I don't really recommend it. I don't think the border is gonna add anything to the design at all. I just find that the poster matte finish just by itself, no border needed, and you'll be happy. Like overall, long-term, honest review. I don't know if the border is really worth it or adds anything to the designs of the poster. This is still a great design. I love the gorillas, and this is definitely a cool design. Here's another great design. So we've got a Linkin Park poster right here. It is a glossy finish and it is a large poster. So instead of just having one mount, you would have two mounts to be able to mount this. But it's the same quality as just the small ones. It's obviously a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Hence why it comes with two mounts instead of one. Overall, it's pretty decent. I do recommend it for some larger spaces, but as you can see by the studio, I've got a lot, a lot of the just normal, smaller sort of finishes with the matte finish. I think, honestly, you'd be happy with just matte finish, normal size. Don't get XL because the XL kind of lines up weirdly with like how it all goes and I've tried it before and everything and it wasn't like my favorite thing in the world. I still liked it, but I was like, eh, and then it sort of fell off the wall eventually. Yes, they do fall off my wall. I said before they don't fall off the wall. They do. 
but you know, it fell off the wall and I was sort of like, I can't be bothered mounting this and putting this back up again. So that's sort of my honest review on the XL range. Apart from that, every time you buy one, you sort of get a range of stickers that are always pretty cool. And sometimes they change it up as well. And you get like a 30% off code. I don't know if this one's still active, but if it is, maybe try and use that one. That'll be really good for you. But yes, overall, a very happy customer. Very honest, happy customer as well over time. It's always been good. It helps me with my space, my studio to make it look presentable and it makes it look really cool, which I've really liked. And I've been a big fan of the Linkin Park stuff that's been brought out. Some of the limited edition ones are pretty cool as well, but I like just general stuff. Like I like the general designs. It's supporting local creators and I absolutely love it. So that's my honest review on display metal posters. Like and subscribe to see more and I'll see you guys next time.